This is me five years ago. A student na walang direksyon. A student na pumapasok na lang para sa attendance. A student na hindi pumapasok at all. In short, an irresponsible student. And these numbers don't lie. And this is me now, a 22 years old young adult living on his own and working on his dream job. But before time will proceed, I want to rewind back muna to the very beginning. Meron akong tatlong choices, CPE, CS, or IT. IT is good, pero parang masyadong saturated, ang daming IT students and graduates, so yung competition is mataas and mahirap mag-stand out. CS is also a good course lalo na para sa akin na mahilig sa software. Naalala ko nung high school ako, I used to root my phone then flex my scores sa mga games na pinagitan ko lang ng value and later on nababan ako. Tag-install ng mga crack na software and taga-download ng movies. I got excited that time na ito na yung right path para makamit ko yung dream job ko until one day habang nanonood ako ng video sa YouTube, nag-recommend sa akin ang video na may dalawang robot na nagilalang sa rin. It was BattleBots. Sobrang angas. Parang gusto ko din bumuo ng robot na ganito and that was the time na nahilig akong magkalikot ng mga bagay-bagay. Sabi ko, hindi ko yan matututunan sa CS. So, CPE is I think the best fit for me kasi I still want to achieve my dream job and I also want to build machines during my free times. Ang lawak ng imaginations ko nun. Parang nai-imagine ko sarili kong nag-welding ang tagihinang in the future na parang si Iron Man. Pumasok ako ng college na walang concrete na plano. My biggest weapon is the motivation na baon ko and it was not enough. I got distracted by many things and nawalan ako ng gana. That time I realized na walang silbi lahat ng yun kung wala kang disciplines sa sarili. And every day feels like a miserable day kasi I wake up, go to school, say present, waste time, uwe, waste time, sleep. Wake up, go to school, say present, waste time, uwe, waste time, sleep. Wake up, go to school, say present, waste time, uwe, waste time, sleep. Wake up, go to school, say present, waste time, go to school, say present, waste time, 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 waste Ayaw kong ganto na lang ako forever. Ayaw kong masayang paghihirap ng parents ko. Ayaw kong mabuhay na parang wala akong purpose sa mundo. So, I decided to end this walang kwentang routine and I want to 360 this bad cycle. But something big stopped me. Something deadly and destructive na nagpatigil sa buong mundo. The COVID-19. I was devastated, depressed, and hopeless. Paano akong magbabago kung ang mismong mundo ay salungat sa mga plano ko? Dalawang bagay lang ang nasa isip ko that time. It's either it's not for me, or God is only testing me if I truly deserve to achieve this thing. I realize that the second one is correct. Puro ako excuses, ano naman kung lockdown, ano naman kung bawal lumabas, may laptop naman ako, may internet naman kami, may mga free resources naman sa internet. Ang wala lang ako ay ang sipag para magsimula. August 18, 2022, graduation's done and the real battle has started. It was scary, but I'm already here. So here's what I did. Create a portfolio. With all the projects na ginawa ko, I compiled them and binuhos lahat ng natutunan ko sa front-end development. Sa paggawa ng simple but fully functional and eye-catching na portfolio. By the way, if you want to visit my website so you can have idea, as a description yung link. Create a resume. At first, I thought, the more info, the better. The more design, the better. Pero hindi pala. It should be simple and dapat na nandoon lang ay mga relevant sa position na gusto mo and most important part, don't lie. Webinars or seminars. I may be biased here kasi I believe na you can literally learn anything. But based on my experience, wala ni isang recruiter ang nagkaroon ng interes sa mga certifications ko. Kasi everyone can lie. Pwede mo ngang i-photoshop na lang yung certification ng iba tapos ilagay mo yung pangalan mo, meron ka ng certificate. Instead of wasting your time looking and waiting for the perfect webinar na fit sa career na gusto mo, invest it para i-practice ang speaking skill mo. And that brings me to my next point which is, Action speaks louder than words, but without words you cannot prove your actions. The reality kapag naghahanap ka ng trabaho is nonsense ang skills mo kung di ka marunong mag-market sa sarili mo. Kung magaling kang makipag-usap sa HR, malaki ang chance mong ma-hire. 
Usually, ang mga HR, hindi sila technical na tao. So, ang basihan lang nila ay yung communication yung dalawa. Like, paano ka ba sumagot, gaano ka ka-fluent mag-English, especially kung international company ang applyan mo, and kung anong attitude mo, kaya may mga scenario questions silang tinatanong. Practice for technical interviews Depende sa position na ka-applyan mo, pwedeng iba ang technical interview mo. In my experience, software engineer position usually mga data structure and algorithm questions. My suggestion is practice skills sa late code or ibang mga website na magtatest sa coding skills nyo. Then, in full stack developer naman, familiarity sa tech stack na ginagamit and ang pinakamahalaga is OOP or Object Oriented Programming na hindi ko masyado naaral that time. And the last item is taking risk. Applying for your job is hard, but if you do it correctly and efficiently, it will be less harder. Expect mo na marereject ka na maraming beses while yung iba isang beses lang hard na agad. It is normal. If you feel na malas ka, just be grateful. You're one step closer to your dream job while yung iba nag-aaral pa or bumalik ng college. Everyone has unfair advantage, so use it wisely. Oh.